I think we underestimate how often our words are just animal noises, braying, not saying. We happen on some words that reliably get us what we want, and they become habits of speech. Just blurt whatever works. It's more charitable and respectful to assume that everyone's always rational, thinking about the meaning of what they're saying. But it's more realistic and honest to assume that utility matters more than thought. We speak in cliches more than ideas, and not just innocuous cliches. A lot of our cliches are territorial. What's most immediately useful for any of us is an uncluttered path to wherever our impulses take us. Our cliches, therefore, tend to be bulldozers. Bull as in BS, devoid of meaning. Bulldozing as whatever helps us plow through obstacles. Obstacles block and demotivate us, filling us with doubt about what to do and whether we've got what it takes to do it. Yuck, who wants that? So we accumulate noping strategies, coping strategies that bray, nope, don't go there, that anyone discouraging. For example, we'll get into the robotic habit of calling any criticism rude, negative, unkind, judgmental, inappropriate, whatever works to get folks to back off. We can gossip all we want about the mindless words of other people, but try telling someone to their face that you suspect they don't care about the meaning of what they're saying, that they're just trying to win and get ready for a counterattack. They'll often just spit out more cliches to shut you down. Faced with a choice between self-doubt and spouting territorial cliches, we all tend to choose the cliches. And we all tend to back down when we're brayed at, which makes people's braying habit work that much more reliably. We might think it's more civilized to back down, but it does enable the braying. If folks back down when we call them rude, why would we bother wondering what rude means? Now, none of this makes me cynical about us. It just makes me wonder how best to keep us from braying our way to extinction. Reality matters. Thoughtful, meaningful words are still our best chance of survival. It's just that braying cliches are easier. Lip service bulldozing clears the path of least resistance. It comes easiest to animals like us. We all seem perfectly capable of braying conviction and passion as though we mean every word we're saying without giving our words any thought. And that's an interesting and pressing human problem.